recycled books. Um, and Yes and Yes Designs is my, my brand. I was making other jewelry before um, and then buying these laser cut pieces that someone else was designing. Um, so I first got involved with Tech Shop because I wanted to make my own laser cut pieces. I didn't want to be using anyone else's designs. Once I started to understand the process of the laser cutter and see where there was maneuverability with materials, I started experimenting and got really inspired by book covers. I actually found them at Bazaar Bazaar. Uh, they had a booth set up. This is like a craft fair in San Francisco. And um, yeah, they had this booth set up and they had actually brought a couple laser cutters. And I had already been thinking, oh, well, maybe I'll outsource laser cutting. I didn't even know there was a possibility of me having access to a machine myself. And once I like saw what they were capable of, I just knew it was meant to be. I had to do it. Not at all. Yeah. I had used um, Illustrator a little bit, a tiny little bit. I hardly knew what I was doing. Um, but And that's like the program that I used to build everything. But other than that, no idea. It was, it was really easy. Um, I mean, you take a two-hour class here that's just a safety and basic use class for the laser cutter. And then you're pretty much approved to get your hands dirty. And um, it still takes, you know, a little bit of time to figure out what settings you need to use and, you know, what you even want to be making. Um, it was really easy. Uh, within a month, you know, I started off with just a month membership. Kind of like, oh, I'll test drive it and um, use my time to the fullest extent. Um, so I was in here like three or four times a week. And um, yeah, once I kind of like got inspired by the laser and the possibilities, it, it was, you know, all downhill after that. And I'm like, I'm in deep, you know? Right now, I actually just um, finished a Kickstarter campaign. So I'll be getting my own laser cutter um, within the next couple of weeks. But I have to say, I never would have been, you know, I never would have started doing what I'm doing now if it hadn't been for Tech Shop, just because I wouldn't have had, had access to laser cutters and like the ability to experiment, um, which is, you know, unbelievable. Like, there's so many opportunities for outsourcing. Um, and a lot of people, like, you see a lot of laser cut jewelry out there, or at least I do. Um, and a lot of it tends to look the same. And I wanted to get away from that and have my product be something totally unique, different. I'm here three times a week, which is the max. Um, then I can usually get about maybe... 200 pieces a week. I am starting to get in more and more stores right now. So I'm at the San Francisco Museum of Modern Art and um, a few other stores. And so I'm actually going to be doing a, a trade show in August. And um, at this trade show, they expect at least 15,000 buyers from stores across the country. So, you know, it's the more you can get your hands dirty and experiment before you get it out on the market, the better. I think um, for me, I had already been making jewelry, and so once I started this like new twist in my business, um, it blew my mind, and I kind of like reshifted my whole focus. I, I just wish I had like been experimenting more before. I feel like all the mistakes I made was my first like year of doing business, you know? <laughs>